Now, let's look at a quick way to set up demographic attributes for your interview participants. This kind of data is really useful, especially if you want to compare what people say based on their attributes like age or gender. First, you can click here to add a case classification to the project. Let's say you're working with interview participants as opposed to organizations or places. So you can add a classification called person. Here's the classification in list view. Now you can add the attributes or characteristics that make sense for your project. For example, suppose you want to compare what people say based on their gender. Just click here to add the attribute gender. And since you know that the variables or attribute values, as we call them in InVivo, are male or female, you can add them here. If you don't know the attribute values at this stage, you could leave them blank. Next, let's go to the interview documents. Since there is one per person, you can create case nodes based on them. It might be helpful to think of a case node as a container for everything a particular person says. If you have an interview with two people, or maybe a focus group, you can still make a case node for each person and code the content manually. But for these individual interviews, let's just select this option. Here are the new case notes. They are stored in the cases folder. See, if you open Barbara's case node, you can see that her whole interview is coded here. Now you can select the case nodes and assign them to the person classification. Then open the person classification sheet to see all of your interview participants. In here you can enter the attribute values. Barbara is from Straits. She is female. Age 40 to 49. Of course, if you already had this data in a text file, you could just import it. Once you've entered the values, you can filter and sort the data. See, you can sort this column by community, or just choose to look at female participants. Now you can go ahead and code the interview documents at thematic nodes, and in Vivo will keep track of who said what. And as your coding progresses, you can use a coding query to see what people with particular attributes say about a topic. For more information, refer to the online help.